For Action News, I'm Mana Dolosky. In the wake of actor Robin Williams' tragic end of life, we're reminded here at AXHA that clinical depression is unlike any other disease. And yes, it is a disease. Worse yet, it carries a social stigma and an astounding amount of ignorance. The misconception is that depression is simply a sadness or a character flaw, a phase that is temporary. But it's actually none of those things. Sure, they can be contributing factors, but they don't define clinical depression. The disease is much more complex. It's a chemical imbalance, often hereditary, and it carries many of these symptoms. Change in appetite, disturbed sleep patterns, lack of pleasure, fatigue, hopelessness, and suicidal thoughts. And oftentimes, many are too ashamed to seek treatment, and the consequences could be deadly. Here's Aksha's Dr. Gilbert Ross with more. Depression is a clinical disease. It is not a feeling blue or sad. It is not a character flaw or a moral failing. It's, it's a serious neurochemical disease. Sometimes it's genetic, uh, often it's genetic, as a matter of fact. People uh, with a family history of depression or suicide have a much higher risk of having uh, depression as well and being at risk for suicide. Uh, the, the, the worst outcome, of course, for depression is suicide. And uh, just like the Robin Williams case, people who give no indication to the outside world that they're blue, unhappy, or, or not, not feeling as, as vibrant as they used to, can still be suffering from very, very dark depression. And uh, it just sometimes happens that people kill themselves without warning. Uh, but more often than not, way more often than not, there are signs that something is amiss. The, the uh, crucial diagnostic point about depression is a loss of enjoyment of life. Uh, and that's what the depressed person feels. Now, the symptoms can be manifested in various ways and quite unpredictably. You can have uh, loss of appetite, loss of desire for sex, loss of uh, sleeping ability or too much sleep, uh, loss of the desire to go out and do things that normally uh, give people pleasure and give the, give the patient themselves. The depressed person gave, gave them pleasure uh, months or years ago, no longer does so. And these are all warning side signs to the family members and loved ones and to the astute clinician. Patients often go to the doctor complaining about things unrelated to depression. And upon careful questioning, things like the bowel movement problems, or sleep disorder, weight gain or weight loss, things of that nature, uh, losing a job, for instance, and especially substance abuse, are all signs to a uh, linkage to a uh, possible clinical depression. As I said, clinical depression is not a character flaw. It's a neurochemical abnormality, and it needs to be treated as such. We have uh, pretty effective and quite safe antidepressants now that often work. Uh, talk therapy can sometimes help. Cognitive behavioral therapy can sometimes help, but only in the mildest cases. Often medication is required. If one doesn't work, uh, others should be tried, and it sometimes takes two to four weeks for the effects to kick in. And this is an important point because once you start treating somebody for depression, somebody who was really very gloomy and didn't feel like doing anything, and was basically staying in their home or in their room, you give them antidepressants without careful monitoring and they may get enough activity going to actually jump off the roof or get the gun and shoot themselves or some such or get those pills. Whereas when they were so depressed, they just didn't have the energy even to do that. So you have to be very careful when you start a seriously depressed patient on uh, antidepressant therapy to make sure that they're not activated enough to actually harm themselves. Depression needs to be diagnosed and treated aggressively. It's often associated with substance abuse, which also has to be uh, treated aggressively. And uh, a, a sunny exterior does not, should not fool one into thinking that a depressed patient isn't really depressed. And uh, uh, it's, it's widely underdiagnosed and there shouldn't be a stigma attached to it. It's a disease like uh, cancer or diabetes or heart disease. It's not a failure of character or a moral flaw. And uh, we do have effective treatments. So uh, be on the alert for this uh, diagnosis in, in uh, your family members and your loved ones. 
To read more on this story, you can head to our website, ACSH.org, that's ACSH.org. And while you're there, don't forget to also sign up for your daily dose of news delivered straight to your inbox. For Action News, I'm Anna Dolosky.